and work with the kid over here. Yeah, why don't, get, why don't you sing on one side of the pulpit and let her sing on the other so they can see y'all. Right quick. He hadn't been here in a couple years. This year is Bubba. You know, he was called Bubba to the 12 in Texas, right? Now, we lived in Georgia for a while. Maybe some of the girls were called Bubba out there. That's all about it. He, uh, we, uh, we brought the wrong shirt for his suit today. Now, I knew it was coming to Brother Cook's church. And them boys, they dress sharp. And I dress like Brother Cook. But I'm, the place they sell those in Dallas is, you better be packing to go over there. Right here, right here. Certainly not, brother. Just black and white. all you can find. <laughs> but these boys always look so sharp. <laughs> and brother took us to us, right? So we just went to Walmart and got him a, a school uniform, looks like, kind of. But anyway, but he did the same thing tonight. And he, uh, he uh, at elementary school, they were putting on a, uh, a musical version of 101 Dalmatians. And he tried out and he, uh, for the lead role and won it. But he had to turn it down because he didn't want to wear Cruella's dress. But, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the lead male vocal, was it? There, on that. It did a good job. Uh, now, this, now, I told y'all before, we named him Landry after Coach Tom Landry. That's actually his name. And, uh, and then our daughter, we named her Stallback. I know I told y'all. Uh, her name is Bethany. But uh, we're going to let him sing a little bit. We, uh, we travel down the road quite a bit, listen to gospel music, of course. And one of our favorite groups is Gold City Quartet, and we're, I, we're listening to a song one day. And this one right here, on the third verse, the tenor just kind of takes off. And he sang right with him. I said, well, we just need to learn that song. And he, he learned it. But now, since he's got that part in the school, you know, try to make him sing a little more dignified. Now, you don't sing dignified here tonight, okay? You understand? Okay, right now, Mike, and get on it, all right? Yes, sir. He decided, I don't know, He's got Lego leg on the brain. I told him, we go to California. We're going to drive back home, but tomorrow we're going to make a stop at Legoland. Amen. Y'all don't have any free tickets for that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate them. They uh, gave me some kind of pass or something to Disneyland a couple of years ago, I guess it was. But, uh, that was a blessing. But anyway, are you ready to see? All right. How many Legos do you want tomorrow? <laughs> I can find it here. I should, I should have pulled the song up before I started introducing it. Amen. There it is. <laughs> Oh, sweet peace to me. 
get back up here to help us with one. And uh, this song we wrote, and uh, I think we've even sung this song before, but here, but uh, we got to singing this song, and these fast songs the kids love to sing with us. And they started singing around with us, so we started bringing them up. And I tell you what, Bethany over there started making it her own. She started to kind of become Angel's Mini Me. And uh, she, uh, she gets real loud on the ending. I had to, Bethany, pull back on the mic there at the end, right? Okay. Because that, that last note is right in her wheelhouse, and she busted a few ear drums before she learned to pull the mic back. But uh, well, what is, she better do that tonight. Okay, y'all ready? I'm going home to beautiful city. And 
yeah. to get up there and walk arm in arm with him. And, uh, but in thinking about heaven, you know, uh, the Bible says, I've not seen it. We can't even imagine how good right. it was going to be. Yep. Right. But to me, the greatest thing about heaven, I've heard preached on, and the Bible talks about a time when you can lay those crowns. If right. you lay them for the Lord, get those, lay those crowns that are sacred Amen. 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 Yep. This is kind of this song is kind of, a, of our feeble attempt to picture how heaven's going to be. Amen.
have one more song. I hate to go and Easter service without singing this song. And uh, probably the greatest Easter song I've ever written. I, I didn't write it, so I can tell you this. Probably the greatest Easter song I've ever written. And we, uh, I'll share this. We we're sharing stuff tonight. We don't usually tell churches. Uh, the, uh, we actually tried to learn this about four Easter's in a row. The third and fourth one down, you know, we, we kept saying, boy, we need to learn this arise on love. It kept working on it, kept working on it. But the fourth one in, we got to learn that we had to look back. Amen. Because it's an awesome song. You know, as Christians, our sins are forgiven, paid for on the cross account. We will walk in victory today because he rose again. Amen. Songwriter puts it this way. Maybe the Father looked down at the Son on that first resurrection morning and said, Son, you've taken all hell's punishments. You paid sin penalty. You've taken all the devil had to give. Now arrive, my Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. 